Hey guys, Philly Boy J here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my version of white sausage gravy. I'm really excited because this is a recipe that I've been putting to the back burner for some time now. My subscribers have been requesting that I show them how I make my white sausage gravy for over two years now, even on my last channel, and I never got around to doing it. So it's finally here. White sausage gravy from Philly Boy J, my version, okay? Um, a lot of people eat this with biscuits. They eat it with biscuits. But I'm not going to be showing you guys how to make biscuits because I already have a buttermilk biscuit from scratch recipe that you can check out. All right. I'll post the link to that recipe in my video. Um, you will see it in the annotation box. All right. So let's get straight to it. Um, the seasonings that you're going to need. Are black pepper, onion powder, ground cumin, cayenne pepper, just to give it a little spiciness, thyme, brown sugar, and celery salt. If you don't have celery salt, you can use a small amount of regular salt, but celery salt is what gives it its flavor, okay? If you want to follow my recipe to a T, make sure that you're using celery salt. Yes, we are going to be using some brown sugar and some cayenne, all right? That's going to give it balance, you know, it's going to have a little hint of sweetness and a hint of spiciness just try it out you're going to love it it is amazing all right so those are all the seasonings that you're going to need okay guys now i know you probably were saying why didn't he have any garlic powder that's because i use minced garlic in my white sausage gravy you're going to need some all-purpose flour and some heavy whipping cream some people use milk but i like to use heavy whipping cream so make sure you have some of that the main ingredient, obviously, is sausage. Let's talk about the sausage that you're going to use. Um, I like to use breakfast sausage, and these are pork breakfast sausages by Smithfield. Okay, so that's the kind of breakfast sausage that I'm going to use. I know some people, a friend of mine, um, who uses spicy breakfast sausage. And if you decide to use a spicy sausage then don't use the cayenne pepper. That'll make it too hot, all right? But yeah, what you're gonna do is you're going to peel the skin from the link and you're going to squeeze out the meat and grind the meat up, okay? So let me show you guys how that looks. You're going to get your link and pull the skin off and just roll it up. It's really easy. And then just add it to a bowl. And then you're going to grind it up. So that's simple, just like this. Comes off very easily. And because we only want to use the sausage meat, okay? Like this, and that's pretty much it, all right? Okay, and then with your hands, you can just break this up, grind this up, okay? Until it look like ground meat, like ground beef or something. Just grind it up really well. And we're going to continue to break this up as we're frying it, okay? So we're going to get started. This recipe is really a short one and very easy. Visit my website, phillyjcooking.com for all of the exact details and for the full recipe. The recipe can be found below in my video description box. That link will take you to my webs website. Guys, so you're going to move over to the stove. You're going to get your skillet and you're going to place it over medium heat. Okay, I'm adding our breakfast sausage now. And we're going to be frying this for about, I say, 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. And as it's frying, you're going to break it up as much as possible. Otherwise, you'll be left with big chunks of meat. And we don't want that. All right. We want the meat to be finely distributed throughout the gravy. Um, there's something that I do want to tell you guys. 
If you want a very meaty gravy, use one pound of breakfast sausage. If you want your gravy to have more gravy than meat, then use just 12 ounces of breakfast sausage. All right? Some people like their sausage gravy to be kind of loose and not as meaty. And that's kind of the way I prefer mine, actually. Um, so we're just going to break this up like that and let this cook. And then once it browns, we're going to add our seasonings. Okay. We try to break this up as much as possible. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to begin adding our seasonings. We're going to start off by adding our minced garlic. And you want to get some garlic juice up in there. So some of that juice. All right. And because breakfast sausage is so flavorful, some people don't even add any seasonings to this. Because it already is well seasoned. You guys so stir your seasoning in. And this smells amazing. Oh my gosh. So seasoned and flavorful. And we didn't add um, a lot of salt. There's only a small amount of salt in this. Okay, because most of the seasonings that we added don't have a lot of sodium in it. Like the onion powder and the cumin and pepper, cayenne pepper. Those seasonings don't have a lot of sodium, okay? The only seasoning that we use that has a lot of sodium in it was the celery salt. So now we're going to add our flour. I'm going to stir that in. Right. And you're going to stir this in until the flour becomes inconspicuous. Right, just like that. Okie dokie. And last but not least, you're going to add your cream. Okay. And we're not going to cook this very long. Sometimes it may look like your gravy is not as thick as you want it to be, but you have to always make sure that you take into account that the gravy is going to continue thickening once it cools off. Once you cut the fire off, it's going to continue to thicken. Okay. Once that cool air hit it, it stiffens up a lot. So 
you want to make sure that once you cut the fire off that it's still kind of loose not extremely runny but just a little loose so i say let this go for about exactly five minutes no more than that okay just making sure everything is well blended especially the flour okay guys so now you want to cut it off look at that ah this smells amazing you can smell the cumin the celery mm, 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 mm. The onion powder and you can definitely smell the garlic look at that alright guys so here are some warm biscuits these are my homemade buttermilk biscuits from scratch okay and you're going to just pour that white gravy over the biscuits and in between the biscuits oh. mm, 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 mm 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 oh gosh so good it's gonna be so good guys so good Guys, you got to try this recipe out. It is super, super good. White sausage gravy just can't get too much better than this. Tell me how you like it. I know you'll love it. Philly Boy J. Oh, look at those biscuits. So nice and fluffy. Soft. Peace. Hey guys, it's PBJ, and for more of my delicious and easy to make recipes, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos, and come join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.